Hello there, boys and girls. Miss Shibabi here, greeting you from my home classroom in my first video lesson. Today, we're going to review a bit of word learning together, including identifying our alphabet's vowels and consonants, creating words from those vowels and consonants, and also creating words that rhyme. Let's take a look at our vowels and consonants together. Our English alphabet includes 26 total letters. Those letters can be sorted into two groups, vowels and consonants. As you've been learning since kindergarten, vowels are very important in our language because we're unable to form words without them. We'll keep this in mind as we complete an activity together in just a bit. First, take a moment to think to yourself or think aloud with whoever you may be viewing this video with. What are our five vowels besides the sometimes Y vowel? I'm going to give you a second to think about this. Okay, by now you should have identified our five vowels as A, E, I, O, and U. This means the rest of the letters in our alphabet are consonants. Oops. All right, nice job. Now that we've refreshed our memories on our vowels and consonants, let's move on to making words and more specifically, rhyming words. We use see and hear rhyming words all the time in our reading, writing, and even the music that we sing or listen to. Words rhyme with one another when they share the same end sound. You may find words that rhyme in a story, poem, or your favorite song. Here's an example you may recognize from a popular Dr. Seuss book. Pop rhymes with pop. Pop rhymes with pop because both of these words end with the same sound. And that sound is op. Hop rhymes with pop. I'm going to underline that op sound in both of my words to remind me that rhyming words must share the same end sound, and these two do. Therefore, they are a rhyming pair. Okay, now I'm going to give you a moment to try some on your own. We're going to look for some other words that rhyme with hop and pop or end with that same end sound, op. Okay, so here you can see we have hop and pop on our left side. We're looking for words that rhyme with those two words as well. And our first example is top. Where do you think top goes? Does it rhyme with hop and pop or does it have a different end sound? Take a moment to think to yourself, does this word rhyme with hop and pop or does it not rhyme with hop and pop? If you answered that yes, it rhymes with hop and pop, you are correct because the word top again has that same end sound, op. All right, let's look at a few more examples together. How about the word mope? Does mope rhyme with hop, pop, and top? Or doesn't it? Take a moment to think to yourself, where does the word mope belong? How do we do? Mope does not rhyme with our words on this side because it does not end in op. It ends in ope, mope. Yes, it has the op in there, but again, we remember that rhyming words must share the same end sound. So this would be a non-example for us. Okay, we're gonna do two more together. Plop. Think to yourself for a moment. Where does plop belong in our sort? Plop rhymes with our list of words so far, again, because it ends in that same sound, op. Plop rhymes with top, pop, and pop. Last word, bopped. Where does bopped belong in our sort? Does it rhyme with these words or doesn't it? Take a moment to think to yourself or share with the person you're viewing this video with. Bopped 
does not rhyme with these words because it ends in ed, does not end in op. It's a tricky one because it still has the op sound, but again, we remember that rhyming words must share the same end sound. It ends in ed, these words do not. Nice job, boys and girls. Now let's move on to our activity. This week, your word learning task is to use the letters from the word basketball to create a list of new words, including rhyming words. Today, I'm going to model how to think aloud through this activity using a different word. And the word I'm going to use today is beautiful. Okay, before we begin, just want to take a second to notice the strategy I use to do this activity. I wrote my word out on a note card. You can also use any piece of paper, scrap paper, what have you. And I just cut apart the independent letters so that I can actually manipulate these letters and move them around as I'm trying to create new words. So just a quick helpful tip for you all at home. Okay, before I begin creating words and looking for rhymes, I again wanna remind you the importance of separating our vowels and our consonants like we did earlier. So I'm gonna take a look at all my letters and identify the vowels first. I recall that we were using our vowels A, E, I, O, and U earlier. Okay, so here's A, E, I. We do not have an O in this word, but we do have two U's. That means that my other letters, B, T, F, and L are consonants. Now remember that we need vowels in our words in order to create something. So I'm going to start by looking at my vowels and just choosing one to try out. I'm going to start with my E. Just pull it down, separate it from those other vowels for a moment while I think. And I'm going to choose one of my consonants, T, and put it on the end here. Make the sound et. Okay. Now I know looking at my other consonants that I can put a few of these in front of the sound et to create a word, including the word bet. Oops. Okay, bet. Now as you're doing this activity, you want to be recording a list of the words that you create. So I have my little notebook over here. I wrote my word down first before I cut it up so that I could remember all the letters, what word I'm working with here. I'm going to record my first word, bet. Okay, now remember that part of your task is to also try to identify some rhyming words. Okay, so let's take a look back at our consonants. Is there another word that we can create that ends in the, in the sound et, like bet, using one of these two consonants? Hmm, take a moment to think to yourself. Fet is not a word and will not work, but if we use our L, we can create the word let. And again, it has that same N sound, which makes it a rhyme. So here I'm going to write down our word let along with bet and underline that N sound that they share, et. Okay, put our letters back where they belong. All right, let's try another vowel. How about A? Okay. Now remember, sometimes words have more than one vowel. For example, the next word I want to create is eight. The word eight has a vowel at the beginning and at the end. Again, I'm going to make sure I record my words as I find them. And I want you to take a moment, hmm, look back at our consonants. Are there any words that we, we can create that rhyme with eight? Remember, it has to have that same sound, eight, at the end. What can we put on the beginning here? How about late? Late rhymes with fate because they both have that same end sound. Eight. So again, I'm going to list those together and underline that end sound. Another word we could create with that same end sound is fate. OK, 
Okay. Now let's look at our eye. Pull it down. Hmm. Okay. I know I can make the word it, but we want to make longer words than just two letter words. So I'm going to think about what consonant I could perhaps put on the front of this sound it to make a bigger word like fit. Okay. Now this works out great because I know that I can also make this word into bit and also lit, which means I have another list of rhymes. Fit, bit, and lit all have that same end sound, it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do a few more examples with you before you try this on your own with your word basketball. Okay, hmm, let's check out one of our U's. All right, I know looking at my consonants here that I can create the word tub with my vowel U. Tub, okay, write it down. Looking at my other consonants, I do not believe I can create a word that rhymes with tub, lub, Thub, that's not going to work, but that's okay. Some words in your list can rhyme, some may not, and that's perfectly fine. Okay, what you can do with this particular word tub is add another vowel on the end, A, to make it tuba, and then I have another list, or another word in my list. Even though tub and tuba begin with that same those same letters. Remember, they do not rhyme because they do not end in the same sound. Tub and tuba have two different end sounds, so I'm not going to list those together. Okay, just a few more. Okay, I'm going to bring our E back down because I want to remind you, friends, that sometimes words can have vowels that go right next to each other. For example, we can put our E and our A together, and then we can put our consonant T on the end to create the word eat. Then I can create another word with these same two vowels, E and A, next to each other by putting the consonant B on the front. And then I have beat. And I know that beat ends in eat, again, because they have the same end sound, eat. Now it's your turn. Remember to think about those vowels and consonants when you create new words and common end sounds when you create your rhymes. When you're done, don't forget to post your list or send it to your teacher. We can't wait to see what you come up with. All right, friends, thanks for tuning in. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye.